If you're watching this video, my research touches you. Even before you started listening, you made a series of choices that connect you to people around the world. What to eat for breakfast, what to wear, the kind of coffee to drink, the kind of cell phone you use. All of these choices connect you with people who make these products and provide these services. I study the politics and human rights issues of the global supply chains that brought you the device you are watching this video on. My name is Shireen Hertel, and I'm a professor of political science and human rights at the University of Connecticut. I have worked on economic and labor rights around the world, with the United Nations and with various non-governmental organizations and foundations. Now I bring this experience into the classroom. Years of visiting factories and talking with workers and community members in Mexico, Bangladesh, Venezuela, India, the Dominican Republic, as well as the United States, have helped shape my scholarship and teaching. Guiding companies on writing codes of conduct to manage social and environmental risks in manufacturing also helps frame my work. At UConn's Human Rights Institute, I'm part of a network of scholars who have defined economic rights, decent living and working standards. The Institute is one of the most vibrant centers of economic rights research in the world. We've forged new indicators of progress on fulfilling these rights, new approaches to benchmarking best practices for companies in different sectors, and new ways of engaging community members in research and policy making. Together, we're moving the needle on why and how to define, measure, and implement economic and labor rights. I also edit the Journal of Human Rights, one of the top publications in our field. Based at UConn for almost 20 years and published by Routledge, the journal covers all the major human rights challenges around the world, from torture and political repression to children's rights, and it explores ways that people are working to improve these situations globally. Closer to home, one of the most exciting areas of my research is our new Engineering for Human Rights initiative. Students from engineering and other majors, along with faculty from across our university, come together to learn and solve problems on everything from your electronic privacy to the brownfield in your town. These aren't just lofty goals. We start at home. I work to ensure that every Yukon trademarked product is not made in a sweatshop and is sourced responsibly. Because of this work, our university is a leading institution nationally in efforts at social and environmental responsibility on campus and abroad throughout our supply chain management. This is at the heart of what I do because our work isn't limited to textbooks and abstract study. We take action, making positive change for those who need it most.